I'm here now with Josef Karnod, a local potter. Uh, but instead of showing me how to make pots, he's actually going to show me how to cook a traditional dish of the Hortobad. This is going to be Schlabots. It's what cowboys would have eaten because it's very easy to make on the plains. You just need a fire and one pot. And it's very simple. It's just bacon and bacon fat with potatoes and pasta. And I've heard it's very, very nice, but I've never tried it before. At the moment, all we have in the pot is the bacon and the fat, and that will be heated over the open fire for a while until we add the potatoes and then we add the pasta. Um, yeah, I've never cooked anything this big before, but I'm sure it'll be delicious. smoke in my eyes. As you can see, like a lot of Hungarian food, it begins with very large quantities of pig fat. Delicious, if not the most healthy thing in the world. This is the most important ingredient of a good schlabutz. It's the fat and bacon of the Mongolitsa pig. It's a traditional breed that's only found here in the Hortobad region. Um, it's very hairy and the fat has no cholesterol in it, which I think is, well, good news. Right, so the bacon and the bacon fat have been frying now for a while. You do it until the fat is all melted and the bacon is slightly brown. And next comes potatoes and lots of them. Gosh, you can really hear them frying, can't you? And then you put it back over the fire and you mix it all around so that all of the potatoes are steeped in the pig fat. And then you just leave it to cook. This is the next ingredient, pasta. What you have to do is break it up and then when the potatoes are finished, we'll put it in. We need lots of it, so I'd better get working. Oh, it's sharp! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Pretty vicious stuff. So sharp that when you break it, it actually cuts its own way out of the plastic bag. <laughs> and this is the last one. Now it's time to add it. Here is the bacon and the potatoes. They've been topped up with water and they've been cooking now for about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. And once they start to boil, it's time for the pasta. But before that, I think I'll just give it a little try. Mm. Right, so now we're adding the pasta and I've been told there's a special way you have to do it. You take just a little bit, as you yo. And then you put it right into the middle of the bowl. So now it's been cooking for about half an hour, 40 minutes. And when it begins to dry, you spin the pan, weighs about 40 kilos, you take it off and you roll the whole mixture. And as you can see, the whole mass is beginning to solidify together. On the bottom, it goes crispy. You turn it over, you break it back up, mix it all together, and then put it back over the heat. And it's starting to smell really, really good. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs>
And this is how you know it's done. It goes crispy on top, bright red, and begins to look like a loaf of bread. So after all this time, and I'm really hungry now, I think we can eat it. My very own portion of homemade shlavots. You'll eat by the It's not bad, it's not bad. Oh, and it's very warming, yeah. And hot. And hot, exactly. I can imagine it being exactly what you need after 12 hours in the wind on the pusta looking after loads of cows. It's good.